Today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at this, the brand new Lego Super Mario Brothers Bowser's Airship. Over a thousand pieces in this playset, and it's the largest Lego Super Mario Brothers playset to date as of the making of this video. Can't wait to put this together. Obviously a no-brainer for Lego and Mario fans alike, especially anybody that's a fan of Super Mario Brothers 3, because quite frankly, who isn't a fan of Super Mario Brothers 3? But I'm gonna go ahead and put this together, tell you a little bit about my thoughts and opinions on the build process, as well as cover the features and the details that this playset has to offer. and here we have slowly pulling into the harbor that is my work table we've got the fully assembled bowser's airship and this thing was actually pretty easy to put together it didn't really have any issues with the instructions parts anything like that uh, they do obviously give you a couple of extra pieces here and there and those extra pieces are for you know very intricate things like uh, bowser's tooth or his horn or something like that things that if you were missing for whatever reason or if they shorted you somehow um, your your airship would just absolutely look incomplete but it's nice that they include those extra accessories but for the most part this is straightforward for the build process just follow the instructions no really crazy things to really call out i think it took me around an hour and 40 minutes it took me you know probably a little longer than most people because i'm moving my camera around things like that but pretty straightforward build enjoyed it overall we do get some minifigure accessories first and foremost this is my favorite of the group is this pirate goomba so he's got this nice little pirate head on there and it is not attached it's just kind of resting on top of his scoring tile there but just slides right on there have mario jump hit him on the edge of the cap and then exposes that scoring tile and then you can you know jump on him and score your points he is a little bit different than previous goombas that we've got so first and foremost you'll notice the feet are a little bit different there this pirate goomba has got him like a mid walk and he also has a, a more angrier expression where the uh, other previous Goomba we've gotten in other sets. A uh, little more docile expression overall, but Pirate Goomba, easily my favorite of the bunch. And then we have a Rocky Wrench. Everybody knows, of course, Rocky Wrench, especially anytime you've ever played any of those airship levels. These guys are popping up all the time. Scoring tile is on the back. He's used to always having that, you know, that top cover the manhole cover when he's popping up out of the airship so that just stays there so you don't have to pop it off to expose the scoring tile or anything and, you know he's got his little makeshift wrench in hand and then we have kamek flying around on the broom uh, it comes with a little like clear stand that way it makes it look like he's truly you know flying if you want to pose him like that broomstick you know got a barrel end there just a very basic design the scoring tile is underneath kamek wherever he's sitting so you'd obviously have to hit him, knock him over, and then hit the scoring tile to get your points. His hat moves up and down. He's got his goggles, got his magic wand, but that is Kamek. And then you also get a little cannon. I say little, it's actually, you know, pretty big. This is your start point. You're gonna get your Lego Mario or Luigi. You're gonna put him in the cannon to start your level, fire him off, and then you can jump onto the pirate ship. Pirate ship's got all sorts of different features. Uh, it is pretty compact, honestly. It is a big set and it does expand, but at its condensed portion, it is about 13 inches wide. And at the tallest part of the top of the very tippy top of the mast here, it's about 12 inches tall. Uh, comes with these little, you know, hold on sections there. You easily remove, take those out. And then now you can expand the ship, make the play set area even wider. And then you can expose the other different play areas. And now with it fully, fully widened out, it is almost 21 inches wide. So it's a nice feature to use those Technic pieces to be able to, you know, condense and expand this. And it just looks great. We got awesome details throughout this thing. We got the Bowser cannons on each side. You got three on one side and three on the other. You get this nice little Bowser hand as a nice, you know, play feature. You'll knock it over. 
scoring tile on the bottom there. It goes on the mast. This mast is meant to go back and forth and weeble, wobble, and spin around. So that's a, a cool feature. Uh, it, it's a very solid piece overall, even even with the you know the play features that wobble back and forth. This thing doesn't feel like it's you know super fragile. I feel like I can move it around even when it's fully extended like this and have no issues about it just falling apart. We got another breakaway mass here. Got a nice little uh, diving board you can hit. Kicks the mast over, exposes the scoring tile right here. And then you got a pow button over here. Exposes another scoring tile inside. Normally what you would do is you would kind of like hide Rocky Wrench in here and hit that pow tile, pops him up, and then he's exposed. And then on the front and the back of the ship is really, really where this thing shines. We get two different Bowsers. It doesn't come with a Bowser figure, but that's understandable because Bowser really wasn't ever on the airship. But we got two different facial expressions for Bowser. This one actually folds out and exposes the boss level tile there. So you can finish your level by finishing off Bowser on the back of the ship. We got some really cool lanterns around the sides as well as the back there. These are little hinges so you can move them up and out. We got the little propellers that actually spin. Nice feature there. You know, we got the, the, the glass windows for the cabin and everything. Like I said, we got the, the cannons for the Bowser, but the front, front Bowser, again, also slightly different expression. But very cool, We've got the front of the ship mast there. Obviously there's no sails for this ship because there wasn't any sails for the airship to begin with. One of the cool place it features is the Bowser's hand claw feature on this middle spinning mast. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put Kamek and his broomstick on this side and it does pivot around. And ideally you would just knock Kamek off and then you put Mario on here and the Mario is supposed to hit this target with the broomstick and once it does, going to drop Bowser's claw. So it should look something like this. Lift this up, which drops, forces the claw to come out, exposes that scoring tile. And again, you'd have Mario jump on it and score your points. That wraps it up for today's video. Guys, if you're interested in picking up the Lego Super Mario Brothers Bowser's Airship, I'll put product links down in the video description box below. And let me know your thoughts. Is this something you're interested in? Is this too much, too little? Let me know your thoughts and opinion on the Lego Super Mario Brothers Bowser's Airship in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video and you found the information helpful, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.